How can you answer a question involving words that you don't know? How can a computer do it? We'll see how, and we'll see how math enters in. Here's a sentence with some made-up words. All the gargglefish swiferate past a yub. And now let's ask. Do all striped begargglefish swim past a yub? To answer, let's take an ocean voyage to meet a begargglefish. Some begargglefish are striped. We put all this information in a scale. Up means more general, and down means more specific. They swim, and they swiferate. Here is the scale of the verbs move, swim, and swiferate. Supposing I tell you about a picture that all the gargglefish swim. What would you be committed to? Here are the sentences that you would accept. These are what you infer from my statement. The pattern is: on the left we move down the scale, on the right we move up. When we change the word all to some, the pattern changes. And when we use the word no, the inference is different yet again. It's down both times. And when we start to look at other sentences and other words, we see the same kind of patterns all over the place. The same happens with numbers. Let's look for a second at 41 minus 32. The arrows tell us that to make 41 minus 32 bigger. We can either move 41 up or 32 down. Let's put numbers and language together. In mathematics, we put things which are similar under the same conceptual roof in order to study them together. That roof is called a preorder. It's what we are calling a scale. We think of a sentence like "All big largo fish swim" to be the all function applied to a noun. And a verb input. The language of preorders allows us to talk about increasing and decreasing functions. Let's go back and answer the question that we posed at the beginning. What you do and what a computer could do can be studied as an application of mathematics to everyday language.